when you walk into my studio and visually you're looking around at my workbench or on the wall or on the cabinets, it is so chaotic in a way. And then a, 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 a newcomer stepping in the space is kind of overwhelmed. Like you live and work in this space. But you know, what's very interesting is that all of those objects, color, things that I've picked up off the street, I lay on my workbench and they all seem to come back around in, in some context of what I'm doing. One of the most enjoyable things I experience daily when I'm at my workbench working is the physical relationship with the tools. If it's a hammer or a pair of pliers, or if I'm filing, you know, hearing, feeling the file to take the metal, to actually take the metal away, or to when I soldering to see the flame and the metal getting warm and the solder flowing like butter, uh, so those are the physical things that um, I thoroughly enjoy and I think that's any maker when they are in love with their materials find that with that connection. All of those are what help me speak my language. But in a way what I'm doing is dealing with color, shapes and forms. So sometimes I'm actually placing things together visually and beginning to assemble my idea by putting parts together. And then I'm saying, ooh, this I like. Maybe I take and look at, at clutter and chaos and I engineer and architecturally think about making or my order, the way I see order from this crazy chaotic uh, space. But if I'm not having fun now at this time in my life, something's not right, something's not plugged in.